All right, this I can statement says, I can analyze and describe the motion of an object based upon a velocity versus time graph. And here's an example of something you might see on the test. And of course, here we have a velocity versus time graph. This is velocity over here. And then this, of course, is time over here in seconds. And the first section says, describe the motion of the object to the right in detail. A says 0 to 20 seconds. So let's look at 0 to 20 seconds. Clearly, as you can see, from 0 to 20 seconds, we are increasing in velocity. At 0 seconds, we're moving 0.5 meters per second. And of course, all the way up here, we're moving 2 meters per second, so you are increasing velocity. So we are increasing velocity from, and it might be good to list the range, from 0.5 meters per second to 2 meters per second. Again, clearly the velocity is increasing. Now let's take a look at 20 to 40 seconds. 20 to 40 seconds. And at first, when you look at this, you might think, oh, it's just standing still. But remember, this is a velocity versus time graph, not a distance versus time graph. So between 20 and 40 seconds, we're actually moving at 2 meters per second at a constant speed. So in this case, we're moving at a constant velocity or 2 meters per second. Okay, so we're moving at a constant velocity of 2 meters per second between 20 and 30 seconds. Now let's look at between 40, which is right here, and 50 seconds. So what's going on between here and here? All right, and it looks like in this case we are actually moving, uh, let's see here, we are decreasing speed it looks like. Uh, significantly decreasing speed. And we go from 2, so we're moving, really we're slowing down, it's supposed to be the word slowing, down from 2 meters per second all the way to 0 meters per second. So we're accelerating, but we're accelerating downward. We have a negative acceleration in this case. The next two questions will probably be asked, so you might as well go ahead and address them. This one says, what is the instantaneous velocity at 10 seconds? So I find 10 seconds. It looks like we're referring to this point. And this says, what's the instantaneous velocity, not acceleration? And of course, the velocity is right here. So what I do is go over, and I see that I'm between 1 and 1.5. So more than likely, at exactly 10 seconds, I am moving 1.25 meters per second. It's 1.25 meters per second. The next one does ask what the instantaneous acceleration is at 30 seconds. So let's go up at 30 seconds. It looks like the line is flat because, of course, we're moving at a continuous 2 meters per second here. So with that in mind, what I'm thinking is that clearly we're not accelerating from this point to this point. We're moving the same speed. So we're not accelerating at all between 20 and 40 seconds, including this point. So my instantaneous acceleration at 30 seconds should be 0 meters per second. And it's actually 0 meters per second per second, or 0 meters per second squared, is my instantaneous acceleration at this point.